What's up, everyone? I'm trying to make this as short as possible, okay? Um, if by any chance you have an RT and then you're touching your uh, thermostat hose, the hose that basically goes from your thermostat to your radiator, and you feel like, you know, like the first time I did it, I was touching it and it felt like rocks. You know, I started to concern, I was really concerned that this thing had rocks in it. But to ease you out, they are not rocks it is actually a spring which looks like it's in there is actually a spring that's inside of it um, so don't think that you have rocks in there I was totally concerned it's not the reason why I opened this thing up the reason why I opened this thing up is because this thing was getting hot and well not hot hot but this guy was expanding okay she was really bowing out and all that stuff and I kind of posted it online, got some questions on it. And a lot of people say, hey, go ahead and change the hose. The hose is no good and, and whatnot. So definitely that's what I'm doing right now. I have the hose, new hose inside my trunk. And um, the thermostat I'm also going to replace is right here. Um, this thermostat don't look too bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Um, I don't know when was the last time it was changed. It seems fine. It doesn't seem like it's bad or damaged or anything like that. So I will keep it just in case, you know, I have any issues with the new one. But um, this thermostat is the original that was on it. And then, um, yeah, I was just trying to basically do a video to kind of help people out that might be concerned. So you can see yourself right here, man. This is an RT. Yes, it is dirty and all that stuff. I had just recently bought this car used to basically work on a, as a project. And um, it was driving fine on all that stuff until I opened up the hood and saw this thing was kind of expanding. So when I looked online, people said, hey, go ahead and change that hose. Because last thing I, the, the last thing you would want is this thing to blow out on you and whatnot. It could have been this pressure, air in it. I don't know. God knows. But, you know, tons of people like change the hose. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the hose for something else i will see definitely try and see if i can take that spring inside of there out and move it onto my uh, new hose would be great because it actually helps keep this thing firm which is pretty good um when i was actually buying a hose i actually told the guy at the store hey don't you have a hose a harder hose and whatnot he said no they only had that one and it was kind of soft but yeah this video is just to help you out you know, you might have the same concern with other vehicles. It might be, it might not be a Dodge Charger RT. It might be a different vehicle, Lexus or what, whatnot. And you might have that feeling. Um, this might ease you up, but it's always good to check and always make sure. If you're not too sure how to do this, definitely get somebody, get some help. It's not too hard. Definitely, you will have to make sure your engine is cold, guys, before you want to open this thing up. Don't just opening it. Don't just open it. Um, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I couldn't wait until the engine was fully cool. So, yeah, but just to help you out once more, guys, you can see for yourself right there. And all right, take it easy.